I feel like this is a little bit racist. I'm not going to lie. Because it seems like it came straight after Carnival and it's got it in the headlines. So did you know, guys? Did you know? Did you know? In the UK, in the UK, nitrous oxide is now illegal. Nitrous oxide is now a cate category C drug. So it's in the same place, I think, as like steroids and like LSD and shit. So if you get caught with a certain amount of nitrous oxide, you can basically get a minimum of like two years prison sentence before that it wasn't you could just buy as much as you want online i think people were buying the canisters on ebay because they were being sold as like you know stuff for like whipped cream and shit so you could buy like these cake kits and then you know because i know some boys in my hood who were like buying these things and selling them and whatnot so you'd buy these boxes that were cake kits and then you just buy you know have the canisters and sell them outside of clubs but because the nitrous oxide thing has got so fucking crazy they have now made nitrous oxide illegal. And it's no surprise they did because look at that skip. This is a skip of all the laughing gas that was found after Notting Hill Carnival. And it's a lot of fucking laughing gas. And the funny wild thing about it is that these days the kids are so fucking extreme with laughing gas. Back in the day, I'd maybe have a couple of balloons, get a bit lightheaded and be on my way. Nowadays, there are kids outside who are holding these entire canisters in their hands and fucking taking that shit to the face. They're not fucking transporting that shit to a balloon and then sucking it in and out. Nah, they're taking the entire canister to the fucking face. So you can imagine how crazy it's getting with kids to the point where kids are being admitted to hospital. They're fucking losing the feeling in their legs and shit, becoming paraplegic. It's, it's going crazy, brain damage. Like, it's going wild. These kids are doing too much. So I understand the government wanting to step in, but I also find it super funny that they banned it right after carnival. <laughs> you know? They didn't want to lock up like 100,000 kids because every kid that was at carnival was either smoking weed drinking a wagwan or a magnum or they had a fucking canister in their hand so if they wanted to start arresting people or if they, if they if they made it illegal before carnival they would have had you know prisons overflowing with little fucking 18 year olds and 21 year olds <laughs> you know what i mean they don't want that so they did a good thing by doing it after carnival but it does still feel a little bit targeted i'm not going to lie so the article versus um via sky news Nitrous oxide will be outlawed by the end of the year and categorized as a category C drug by the government. The categorization of the substance, commonly referred to as laughing gas, means the users could face up to two years in prison and sellers up to 14 years. I had friends that were making absolute bank standing outside of certain clubs in London and selling fucking laughing gas. Because as you step out of a nightclub in London, it's 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m., you're bleary-eyed, you ran out wherever you ran out on, and all you hear is, tss, you know, it's like a call. It's like a, it's like a fucking nitty call. I need some more. And then you run over to them, and the guy's like, yeah, I got three for five, you know, four for ten, whatever the deal is. And here you are in the corner of the street with all these fucking balloons going, trying to fucking extend your night. It's kind of, um, there is a lot of like symbolism in that, isn't it, right? You're blowing in and out, trying to fucking extend the life of your night. Must party. When really it's over, it's done for. But here you are wanting to get a little bit lightheaded and kind of lean on a car and walk on the side of the street and shit. It's fucking pathetic, really. At the time you're doing it, it's kind of fun and funny. But when you're walking past people doing it, they kind of look like zombies. It kind of looks a bit crackheady. And it's kind of pathetic. I'm not going to lie. It really is. And I can't imagine how horrible it is for people that live in areas next to clubs. And the streets are covered, covered in these little nitrous oxide canisters. These little steel aluminium looking type of canisters all over the street you, you're walking or you're going on your morning run you're taking your dog out for a walk and fucking dogs are lovely but they're dumb as fuck one might grab it and start trying to eat it and shit you have to fucking get your fingers in your dog's mouth and pluck the canister out you're running and you're kicking little ding 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 you're fucking you feel like you're fucking sorry the hedgehog with all the rings do you know what i mean all over the place so i get it i get why they're banning it um nitrous oxide is the second most commonly used drug Oh my God, what's the first? 
It's the second most commonly used drug among 16 to 24 year olds in England after cannabis. Wow. Okay. Now, see, that's why I say, I've always said this, England is a bad vibes place anyway, right? We hate fun. We hate good times. We're anti-leisurely activities. Unless it involves fucking alcohol, this country fucking hates it, right? Unless you're opening a restaurant or a fucking cocktail bar, <gasps> anything involving clubs or whatever, they don't like it. That's why I've always said, I find it near on impossible that within my lifetime, cannabis will ever be legal in the UK. It's never happening. It's never happening. We're too puritanical. We're too prudish. We're too boring. We're too fuddy-duddy as a country. We would never, never in the million years legalize cannabis. If we fucking made nitrous oxide a category C drug, it's now a class C drug, right? Just lower than a class B and a class A. We're never going to fucking make, you know, cannabis legal never happening bro never ever happening no matter how much cannabis could you know cannabis sales could be taxed and make a lot of money for the government and shit they would never do it never ever do it they hate seeing us have fun they hate seeing us enjoy ourselves they hate seeing us self-medicate they hate it it continues it comes after twelve thousand canisters were cleared from Notting Hill carnival last month 13 tons worth the royal borough of kensington said 13 tons of canisters god almighty the council expected around five f expected had expected around five skipfuls of canisters after the world famous event michael gove the leveling up secretary announced in march that laughing gas will be banned under government plans to clamp down on antisocial behavior in his announcement went further than the recommendation of review commissioned by the home office which stopped short of recommending a ban in a statement the home secretary suella braveman suella braveman or braverman the british people are fed up with yobs they're calling them yobs that's basically the the white version of a fuck, isn't it? Because unfortunately for them, you know, it's not only niggas that are doing the canisters, it's mostly the white kids. You know I mean, white kids love fucking, you know, they love, they love a good fucking canister to, to the face. So they can't say like fugs, right? They can't say monkeys, right? They can't do that. They have to say yobs. And yobs is a good way to kind of group all kids under the age of 25, you know, antisocial behavior, essentially. It continues. The British people are fed up with yobs, abusing drugs in public spaces and leaving behind disgraceful messes for others to clean up. Earlier this year, the Prime Minister promised a zero tolerance approach to antisocial behaviour and this is exactly what we're delivering. If you're caught using laughing gas as a drug, you could be hit with a hefty fine or face jail time. Yobs for jail time fucking pieces of shit i hate them so much the home secretary said new schemes are already underway to increase police patrols and hotspots areas of punishments can be given out they're gonna have police patrolling outside of e1 they're gonna have police up and down e1 waiting to hear and they're gonna be running down the street over over 10 we got we got a canister sound of canisters down on the street in whopping responding responding they're going to have police officers with fucking their ears cupped, listening to the tss, 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 tss. fucking knocks, man. Fucking piggy knocks. Oh, fucking hate them. Anyway, data provided by the London Ambulance Services, given to Sky News, show that 999 calls for instances re relating to nitrous oxide more than tripled in a year with 65 calls recorded in 2021 and 213 in 2022 up from 36 calls in 2018 so it's gone up steadily hasn't it yeah <laughs> the data kind of backs up the band um the patients can suffer from a range of problems from loss of an immobility to mental health issues and sexual dysfunction Yo, kids are getting erectile dysfunction super super young and it's causing an alarm because they want us to breed more so that we have more kids, so that we spend more and that we pay more in taxes. 
That's actually why they want to ban these drugs. Because they know when we're high and we're stoned and we're chilled, we're not out there fucking and, you know, sucking and fucking. But if you're chilled and you're mostly liquored up and shit, you're boozed up, you're probably going to be sucking and fucking. Which is then going to mean you're going to pay more tax. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. In, to, in very, um, two nitrous oxide patients have had to have drains inserted into their brains to save their eyesight. That's when you know you're doing too much. If you ever do a drug that requires you to be admitted into hospital, that's already a sign. But then if you have to be admitted to hospital, not just for like a, you know, a little standard run-of-the-mill overdose. No. Nah. If you have to go to a hospital to get your brain drained to save your eyesight, maybe it's time you quit. Maybe it's time you realize drugs aren't for you. Right? Maybe. Maybe it's a user error thing. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> um, um, the ban also promised... Uh, as part of the government's anti-social behavior action plan with the Home Secretary urging police forces to get tougher. Fucking hell. Chris Phillip, the crime and policing minister, said, we can't allow young people to think that there are no consequences for misusing drugs. No, anyway, whatever. There's no question that abusing laughing gas is dangerous to people's health and it's paramount we take divisive action against the situation before it gets worse. So, unfortunately for you kids out there, the laughing gas fun has ended legally. If you want to do it now, you have to do it at home. If you are going to do it in your gardens, in dark parks where you might get, you know, fucking abducted and stolen by the crystallia types and shit, it's very risky. So now you have to really make a decision. Do you really want to do nitrous oxide? Do you know what I mean? If you do nitrous oxide, you might get diddled. So you have to decide. It's up to you. You kids out there, up to you. Because I ain't doing that shit anymore. I fucking graduated to harder stuff. But I don't even do the harder stuff anymore as much as I used to. So for me, I'm out. I'm tapped out. I could never get to any... And for me, laughing gas is, is a lot like shisha. I'm not sure if you guys agree. I think laughing gas for me is a lot like shisha. Shisha, like a couple of times, a couple of pulls here and there, cool. After a while, I kind of get sick of it. It kind of gives me a bit of a headache, makes me a bit queasy. I'm like, eh, I'm good. Same with laughing gas. I couldn't understand why. That's why I saw kids like outside of a club, like taking the whole thing to the face. I'm like, it's never that. Don't get me wrong. If I had a cancer to myself, it'd be cool. But I wouldn't be, oh my God, I'm so happy I would take it to the face. It's not that deep, really. It's not that good. It's like, you know, but hey, 